Welcome back to the final lesson of module one, which is migrating to the cloud. You are listening to Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam series. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your instructor for this course. In this lesson, you will be able to understand the cloud only model, the hybrid cloud model, which cloud model should business environment should choose, and the migration principles to Microsoft 365 services. Okay, let's look at the cloud only model. The cloud only model describes a situation where the services model you want to use could be SaaS, PaaS, or IaaS. It's strictly run in the cloud. There isn't any connection to existing on prem based systems. One of the advantages of using this cloud only model is that an organization doesn't have to concern itself with the infrastructure that the services run on. All the backend functionality is invisible. For smaller companies such as startups or nonprofit, they don't have the in-house resources and the capital outlay to purchase and maintain their own infrastructure. The cloud-only model can be a good choice for them. The hybrid cloud model where what if your company is large and have invested heavily in on-prem hardware and you have line of business applications, custom applications, and so on. Does all of this have to be abandoned to gain the benefit of that cloud computing offers? Certainly not. A hybrid cloud migration is a solution that fits most larger organizations because it allows you to keep critical resources on-premises. Many enterprises embrace this model because it connects on-prem system to the cloud, effectively making the new cloud services an extension of the company's on-prem infrastructure. A common hybrid scenario involves Microsoft Exchange. A hybrid deployment provides a seamless look and feel of a single exchange organization between an on-prem exchange organization and an exchange online in Microsoft 365. When companies consider cloud solution, they usually focus on three categories, cost, security, reliability, and compliance, and functionality. However, these three categories are not equally important for all companies. While smaller companies might favor lower cost and functionalities, some larger, more complex environment might have security and compliance as their top priority. In terms of organizations' operational activities, timing can also be a key factor. So consider these following circumstances. Have you made any recent investment in hardware? Do you have any outdated hardware and systems? Are you going through any limited in-house IT resources? And are you having any limited budget example, for example? Another key thing to consider is migration versus coexistence. Once you have chosen the right deployment model for your organization, it is time to start planning your migration. The two different service models require different approaches. Migration for cloud-only deployment and coexistence for hybrid deployments. So let's look at migration for example. Migration is moving everything from your old system to new system with the intent of eventually removing the old system. In the context of cloud deployment, you move your data and application from local resources up into the cloud to infrastructure provided by your cloud service provider. Coexistence means two different systems, one on-prem and one in the cloud connect and work together at the same time or it coexists as a single service, such as an email. For example, in contrast to the example above, you have chosen to go with a hybrid deployment where your Microsoft 365 subscription extend your existing Microsoft Exchange server. So let's look at the principles of migration. In the previous topic, we reviewed how companies have the option to work solely in the cloud or to connect existing on-prem systems in the cloud to extend the value of your legacy infrastructure. These two deployment service models require different approaches to migration. 
It is common in both large and small organizations to still be running some older versions of server, computer operating systems, and Microsoft Office programs. To maximize the business value of Microsoft 365, let's begin plan and implement a strategy to migrate Microsoft 365 integrated suite. Some of the considerations you need to take care of before migration is you need to verify do you have a requirement to install the Office client installed on your computer or do you have that installed? How many Office servers installed on your servers? Accomplishing all these migrations over time brings your organization closer to the modern workplace. A secure and integrated environment that unlocks teamwork and creativity in your organization through Microsoft 365. So we have come to the end of lesson three. With that, we have completed the module one, which is cloud services. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the module review questions. We're gonna go through the first module, which is cloud concept and go through some question answers. So I'll see you on the next video. Till then, peace.